Well, hi everybody, LJ Magnum is back with another project. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to encase a... Um, a cooler. We're going to build a case around it um, made out of uh, reclaimed pallet wood. And this is going to be something you just kind of leave outside forever and ever and ever. It doesn't make any difference. What I want to do first is I want to build a frame that I can attach the pallet wood to. So I've got beginning with my four legs and then a total of eight cross members. I've got uh, four that are about 24 inches and then I've got four that are about 15 inches. And what I do with these cross pieces is I'm using a, uh, I'm not doing a commercial, but a Craig jig, I forget what kind of jig you call it, but this thing is so cool. Uh, the reason I'm using it, I bought it, what I'm going to do with it and the reason that I, I got this thing is I want to put this whole piece together without showing any um, screws or nails from the outside. It's going to begin like this, the leg, and we'll start out with the long cross member first here and here screwed in that's a short cross member put the other long one I get this going the right way okay that'll come together what we're what we're trying to do let me show you is build that now that's an incomplete one right there it's minus some hinges and handles, but you can get an idea of what that frame looks like with the uh, two by fours. The long legs, long cross member here, short cross members here. And then from the inside, we'll be attaching the paddle wood. Now this was an original, I call it my generation one. There's all kinds of screws that are visible. And the reason I'm using this Craig jig is uh, I want to have it a lot cleaner looking. Well, the frame is done, uh, and it really, with that uh, jig, you can see all the screws are inside, nothing disrupting uh, the outside. Uh, it's only a pallet, I know, but. All right, next step. What we've got to do is start, these are the pallet pieces, and these pallets come in many sizes. Um, I've done a little bit of cleaning on some. What I'm trying to do is get a, a little bit of a pattern going. Uh, I've taken several pallets apart. You get some big pieces. You get some narrow ones. You get them a little bit dark. You get them a little bit clean. Now what I've got to do is figure out my design. I'm going to be putting them in from the inside. And I'm going to take uh, all I need is about 12 inches. So I'm going to be able to get these uh, pallets are about 40 inches. So I'm going to be able to get three uh, pieces per board. And uh, let's see what I come up with, uh, how artsy I am. <laughs> see what we come up with. Time will tell. Well, I've got uh, my pallet wood all on the inside of the frame. It's glued in as well as being stapled with a uh, with an air stapler that I've got. Now it looks kind of helter-skelter but when you take a look at the outside you start seeing a nice little pattern. In some cases I will do a little staining just to you know make a little statement there. 
the stain helps to uh, give it a little bit of style instead of everything just being sort of a, uh, a rusty, uh, dirty look. So I've done all the way around. I've got a pattern going. The next step will be over here. I've stained some pieces for the top and these will be going on the top. Now, let me show you how this is going to work out. Piece there. And then I put my little accents like this. Then we'll put one of these over here. And you get the idea. These will all be glued and nailed down. Then we're going to have to cut the hole. You know, after do all that work, going to have to cut a hole for the cooler. I'll show you that in the next step. All right, I've got my top on, and my pattern is really matching, you know, pretty close to the ends. Now we've got to cut the hole for the cooler. Easy way to do that. When you look at them, the top is even with the sides, with the body of the cooler. So we get that top off. I've already taken the hinges off. Put it down on here. Grab the trusty pencil and draw an outline and then saw away. Okay, I've got the hole cut. See right here. Jigsaw, did that. Now, time to put the cooler in, but not, no, not from the top. It's on in from the bottom. Solid. Now what we've got to do is work up a little bit of bracing here to keep it where it's supposed to be and you know so it doesn't wobble around. It's going to get hefty. Uh, it depends how much ice and how much beer you put in there. All right, cooler box is in, nice and snug. Next job is uh, here's a faucet. Got an ace, six inch piece of PVC. Took out the um, took out the whole setup inside here, and now I'm going to be drilling a hole through to drain inside the cooler, and I'm going to save a piece here. Here it is. If you use these um, Coleman 48 quart coolers and you take take the drain system apart you'll find that the seal fits right over one of these so once I get it in there I'm going to be adding some caulk all around it so it doesn't leak got to start drilling all right I've secured the um, the cooler and I have uh, built a frame around the lid so it's down solid now what I've got to do is match up my pattern here up on top. So I've got my stuff's boards have been cut. There we go. So the pattern matches. Now what I've got to do is uh, do a little staining and we'll get all the colors nice and pretty and then I'll finish with the uh, drain. I have a handle to lift up this. I'm going to put wheels on it just uh, on one end and then a, a lift handle down here but uh, it's starting to take shape. Like I already um, I did push it. Let's see how well that works. I've got a hinge back here. A little snug. There we go. There it is. So once I finish off, oh, and by the way, I built the frame. I've got a, an air nailer 
I shoot some little nails through the frame into the cooler top. I like doing that instead of you know putting in wood screws and I don't know, I think it just looks tacky because if you look around you don't see any screws whatsoever. Here's some of the old nail heads that were on the pallet. That's about it. Uh, next up, uh, once I, I finish uh, the staining, we'll put this together, uh, get the hardware on it, and uh, we will be done. It is finally done. We've got our drain down there. The top is all on. We've got a handle for opening the top right here. Looking down into our 48 quart Coleman. Did a little work in caulking that PVC pipe, cutting it to length, and getting it all set as our drain plug. And then, oh, we have some wheels. Came off a baby carriage. Wheels on each side, I don't put them in the back. I've got a handle here, so we pick it up and we roll. That is it. We are done.